Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Because we are the Israelites. The things that's happening to us today is because we broke God's commandment. That's it right. ain't nothing happening to us that ain't been ordained by the Most High God. Right. Everything that's going on in our communities, even us shooting the killer. Why would it, why it take a, a white man to kill one of us to riot? What about the own evil that's going on in our communities? Bring amongst us? Bring it out. We got gangs fighting against gangs. Why? We killing each other for nothing. Bring it out. Go back to First Kings. A book of First Kings, chapter 8, verse 47. Bring it out. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. So if we shall re remember who we are, remember that you are God's son. You are God's chosen people. You are above and not beneath. He chose you above all nations. It's our, this is our world. He created it for us. Read. In the land, whether they were carried captives and repent. So the Bible says that we're going to bethink ourselves, remember who we are, and repent. What does it mean to repent? You know what it means to repent? What does it mean? All your sins. Accept Jesus in your life. Accept, accept the truth. So we can say that. Say it again. Accept everything. Your so sins, accept the sins. The truth. Acknowledge your basically acknowledge your sins, acknowledge and the wrongs. And then accept Jesus. Are. We're gonna go a little bit more into that accept Jesus, because what's widespread in the earth? What Christianity got spreading is not what it means. Not yeah, saying that's, I'm not, and I'm not saying that's what you're saying, but that's what's widespread, so we want to clear the air that. Read what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 14, verse 6. Bring it out. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. So when we repent, we feel remorseful. You see this, you see this truth, and you see, dang, I messed up. And you turn away from it. You don't go back, you don't hear it. Feel remorse, and then the next day you back selling drugs. The next day you back going to the Christian, going to Christianity church, back serving white Jesus. No, it say turn away from your idols. White Jesus is an idol. That's, That's right. right. Islam is an idol. That's right. Abba Stone is an idol. That's right. Buddhism is an idol. Right. All of the religions that's on this earth are idols. That's They're right. nothing to the most high God. Bring it out. Read out that again. And turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. So the Bible tells us to turn away from all our abominations. Turning away from our abominations is turning back to the God, the laws of God. That's right. When our women, when putting on a dress, stop wearing pants. Because women wearing pants, what, what's the saying? It's, we probably don't, it's not said today, but what's one of the sayings? I wear the pants of this, I wear the pants in this house. Who wear the pants in the house? The person that wear the pants in the house, leave the house. Right. So if a woman is wearing the pants, she's, take, she's usurping authority over the man. Right. And we're going to show you that too. Go back to um, First King. The book of First King, chapter 8, verse 47. Yet, if they shall be think themselves. So if we will remember who we are, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, remember that you are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people, read. In the land, whether they were carry captives and repent and make supplication unto thee. So repent, we feel remorse for our sins, we feel remorse for what we've done against God, and we make supplication unto him. Meaning we send up our prayers to the Most High. And how are we gonna do that, read. In the land of them that carried them captives. And we saying, do it right here in this land. The land that we in, read. Saying, we have sinned. Saying, we have sinned. We acknowledge our sin. We acknowledge that we have been breaking God's Sabbath day. We no. acknowledge that we've been killing and shooting one another. Right. We acknowledge our sin, read. And have 
have done perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. So, with, so it says when we make this supplication, we make this prayer of repentance. Now we return to the Most High God. It says with all your heart, with all your soul. And that's keeping his commandments. That's you pick right. up this Bible and study it. Day in and day out. Day in and day out. And apply the things that's in it. That's right. Apply the commandments. That's how we repent. That's Read. Right. Which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land. And when we pray, it says, pray toward your land. What's our land? <laughs> So the Bible tells us to pray towards your land. When we repent and make supplication, we pray towards our land. We're going to show you. you know? Because this Bible is our book. That's right. It ain't nobody, ain't nobody that walk, ain't no nation that, that's walking this earth that can attest, that can match up to the things that's written in this Bible. That's right. It only apply to us. Right. Read. The book of Galatians. So it says, pray unto thee towards their land. This is our land. Read. Chapter 4, verse 26. Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is our land. Israel, Jerusalem, that's our land. It says, read it again. But Jerusalem, which is above, so it is says, free. Jerusalem, which is above, meaning above all nations. That's the foundation of all the creation. We are above all nations. That's, That's free, right. Which is the mother of us oh, soul. It's right. the motherland. <laughs> Jerusalem is the motherland. Y'all understand? Yeah. Jerusalem is the motherland. Go back. First Kings, chapter 8 and verse 48. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive. And pray unto unto thee toward thy land, which thou gavest unto their father. So it says we'll pray towards our land, which the most I gave to our fathers. The land he gave to our fathers, we just read it, was Jerusalem. That's that's our that's our homeland. Read. <clears throat> the city which thou hast chosen, uh -huh. and the house which I have built for thy name. So that's the nation, that's where that's what was built for the most high God. Read. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication. So it says once we repent and turn back to the Most High with all our heart, mind, and soul, it says then he going to hear our prayers. To let you know, in the Christian church, he ain't hearing none of them prayers. Right. Because they ain't upholding God's law. Right. They are not hearing, he is, the Most High God is not hearing the prayers that's in the Christian church. Right. Because we in the midst of sin. Right. He says when we repent, then he gonna hear us. Then he gonna hear our prayers. Read. Then hear their prayers and their supplications in heaven, thy dwelling place, uh -huh. and maintain their cause. It says maintain their cause. Then he gonna fight for us. Then he gonna defend us. Right. Just like he defended our forefathers Bring when they were going and taking over the land. Right. He gonna fight for us. Though we may we called the minority, but when we repent and keep God's commandments. He going to fight for us. He going to have our back. Read. And forgive thy people that have sinned against thee. So it's there. Then he going to forgive us because we sinned against him. So that's what we first must do. Now I'm going to go back. Is that, yeah, go to Deuteronomy 22 and 5 because I made a statement that our women have to start back wearing dresses and put away the pants because pants are, we made the statement, the word that they say that the, the statement is, I wear the pants in the house. Right. Meaning I'm the head of the house. According to the Bible, the woman is not the head of the house. Look it out! Correct. So if the woman is not the head of the house, the women should not be wearing pants. Right. Right. And we're going to prove that. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Bring it Bring it out. Out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So it said, now read it again. That's, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what's a woman's garment that a man should wear? A dress. A dress. 
So we see that this is talking about clothing, right? So we finish it up and start it again from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now it says the woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. So we just seen that it says a, a man shouldn't wear a woman garment and you said it was a dress. So now it says a woman shouldn't wear what that pertains to a man. What that? What is that? What I have on is man. man. So sis, you're here today. That's the truth. Now, now you know. So now what, what's the saying? You know better, do better. Bring it out. So now that you know that you're not supposed to be wearing pants, get on the dress. I know you got dresses in your closet. I don't want to. I don't want to. It's not about what you want to do. Know. It's about what the most high God wants you to do. That's right. Because that's how we show, that's how we show how we fear. That's how you show that you love God. Because you love God, right? You love God. Let's get that. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. So this says, the Bible says, this is the love of God. So the love of God, when we say we love God, what is that? What is that? Read. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. When we say we love God, we have to keep his commandments. That's what the Bible tells us to do. Yes. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. And it says his commandments are not grievous. They're not hard to do. His commandments are easy, easy. Yeah, it's life to us. You understand, sis? Yes. So next time we come to walk and we see you, we're gonna see you in a dress, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Y'all got a flyer? Make sure. That's, read that again. Actually, go to John 14 and 15. John 14 and 15. Let's go with what Christ said. Let's just see what let's see what Christ said about this. <clears throat> the book of John. Anytime we say we love God, it's, okay. If you love God, okay, show me how you love God. Because if you love your son or your daughter, you gonna take care of them. You making sure they got food on the table. You know, you taking care of they need. You showing it's an action behind your love. So if we say we love God, the action that we must show must match up with his word. Right. Read. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Bring it out. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So this is Christ speaking. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, do what I tell you to do. That's what we that's 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 our charge as the Israelites. As we are waking back up and seeing that we are God's chosen people, our charge is to keep the commandments. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible says, thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. It's talking about us, not the other nations, not them fake Jews that's in Israel. It says, Thou art a holy, chosen, a holy people. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So it says, The Lord God, read it again from the time. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. So it says, Thou art a holy people to the Lord God, and he has chosen thee. Us blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we were chosen by God. That's right. That's why we at the bottom of society. Right. Because we, we disobeying our fathers. Just like a father disciplined his son, the same way the Most High disciplined in us right. as a nation of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why we are in poverty. That's why we poverty stricken. Read. To be a special people. It says to be a special people. Read. Unto himself. Unto himself. So he chose us to be a special people to him. He didn't choose the white man. He didn't choose the Chinese man. He didn't choose no other nation but us. Read. That's right. Above all people. And then he says above all people. That are above all people. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. So you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are chosen by God and you are above all people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.